everybody lost their minds over this virus. You think I'm infected, huh? <clears throat> I'm not dumb. And Michael coming up here trying to trying to figure me out. He's paranoid. We're paranoid. And everybody thinks they're a doctor all of a sudden. Hell, I think maybe we all have. That is a clip from the new mind-bending horror movie, Fear. It follows a group of friends who get together for a weekend getaway at a historic hotel, and it turns into terror when each guest is forced to face their worst fear. Joining me today, director Dion Taylor, as well as actor Joseph Sakura and rapper turn actor T.I. Hi, guys. How you doing today? Hey, Carlin, how you doing? So good, so good. Um, this film looks terrifying. I want to know, what was it about this concept of people facing their fears that made you think, I have to make and star in this film? Well, we wanted to, you know, obviously we wanted to tap into the horror space, but more importantly, um, I think what makes this movie completely different is it deals with the subconsciousness. Um, the movie is about facing your scariest or most, you know, craziest, terrifying fear, but at the same time, the movie deals with a lot of self-reflection, and that makes for a really, really good horror film. Uh, in other words, it's cool for you to lie to other people and tell them what you, <laughs> your fake fear, but they end up going to this place that actually reveals what their real fears are, and you have to face it. And uh, it's a very cool film, uh, but more importantly, it's a really, really good message towards the end of the movie that we're really excited about. But you will jump, scream, yell, say why T.I. got me, you know, you <laughs> put your eyes like that, you do it all. It's, it's just a fun movie to go see. I'm so stoked to check it out. I always wonder this with scary movies, what's the vibe like behind the scenes on set? Like, was everyone joking between takes or was it pretty intense? What are you talking about? Look at these dudes, man. This is, this is T.I. This is Grammy Award winning uh, songwriter, actor, artist. This is Joseph McCoy. Are you crazy? Like, it was nuts. Look, in between takes, it was very good. Um, we had a blast. But whenever you can get these types of personalities together, um, with their energy and their charisma, it's always going to be just infections and fun. Uh, this move was a little bit different because we were shooting during the pandemic, so we were all really dealing with, you know, what was going on outside of our world. But at the same time, it was great to be in a world with these two uh, because they're just absolutely dynamic on and off the camera. I mean, and we also found ourselves, like, laughing and having a good time between takes and all that, but then also kind of stepping back and being like, were we, too, were we just too close to each other? We didn't know what was going on with this pandemic. So some of that real fear that was happening for us at the height of the pandemic is captured on film. And in an interesting way, it's kind of the, it's documenting that time in history in a way that I don't think any other movie has done. And I don't Absolutely. think that they can do again. It's something that can't be replicated. Mm. For sure. Yeah, yeah you shot this I at agree. a very, very weird point in the world. Go ahead, T.I. I was saying, I think it was just great, you know what I'm saying, to actually get out at a time where everybody else was sheltering in place and, and we got a chance to be around people and, and actually get out in, 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 in the mountainous environment and bare face some air. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know everyone's probably asking you guys, <laughs> what is your biggest fear? But I want to actually know what's something most people fear that each of you don't. Mm. Mm, that's interesting. Um, I would have said public speaking, but I ended up getting stage fright from a play that I was in where I was kind of berated by the director uh, right before I was supposed to do a 15-minute monologue. So um, so that would be something, but um, I, I got it back. You know, it took me 10 years, but I finally got it back. So I think that sometimes when people are afraid of speaking in public, I, I don't have that fear. Uh, I would say mine is... Um, I don't have a fear of taking a chance. Mm. Um, and that's how we were able to make this movie. We made this movie when the whole world was shut down and they said we can't make a film and we actually put this together to make arguably one of the coolest horror movies of the year. Uh, so taking a chance will be mine. He also don't have a fear in lying. You know? <laughs> He's not afraid to lie. He will lie to you to get you to a haunted lodge and not tell you that this place is actually haunted with spirits and ghosts until you get there, you know, and close you in a room by yourself. <laughs> and film your reaction. You don't have no fear. He ain't scared to do that at all. Uh, mine, I, I, I would say... Most people have a fear of speaking their mind, articulate, like telling people how they feel for real. And I don't have no problem telling people how, you, how I feel. Uh, and I, <laughs> I, I ain't scared. And I, I'm not afraid to be myself in public, on camera, off camera. 
I'm just, you know, this is the only me I know how to be, and uh, I ain't never been scared of that. 100%, and that's what makes people love you so much. Thank you all so much for chatting with us today.